May I now call on Dr. Kostas Stamoulis, Assistant Director General, Economic and Social Development Department of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Thank you very much. Her Honor, Mrs. Inonge Wina, Vice President of Zambia, the Right Honorable Dr. Eduard Girende, Prime Minister of Rwanda, Her Excellency Zinas Tayachu, First Lady of Ethiopia, my dear friend Schengen. Um, it is an honor for me to be here on behalf of the Director General of FAO, Jose Graziano da Silva, who could not unfortunately be able to be with us here. I would like also, right from the start, to thank the teams of IFPRI and FAO that brought this uh, that brought us all together in what it promises to be a very exciting conference. The theme of the conference, Accelerating the End of Hunger and Malnutrition, is very appropriate for several reasons. With a deadline of 2030 for the SDGs and the 2025 for the Decade of Action on Nutrition approaching, the latest hunger and malnutrition figures are rather alarming. The number of hungry people uh, increased for three years in a row. We are back to where we were about 10 years ago. Today, 821 million people are undernourished. Many millions of children worldwide are also not growing well. 151 million children under five years of age are stunted. Stunting is on a decreasing trend, but despite that, the rate of reduction has been declining. About two billion people are micronutrient deficient. They lack one or more of the essential vitamins and minerals needed for optimal health. In addition, overweight, obesity, and diet-related non-communicable diseases have rapidly emerged as a new global challenge. There are about two billion people overweight of, of whom 672 million are obese. Conflicts and increased frequency of climatic extremes have eroded people's coping capacity and contribute significantly to hunger and malnutrition. Agricultural production is feeling the impact of high temperatures, droughts, storms, and floods. And in SOFI 2018, the State of Food Security and Nutrition, we have shown that climate variability and extremes have affected all dimensions of food security, including food safety, susceptibility to pests and diseases, and the nutritional content of foods. We will not be able to meet the SDG targets if we do not manage to eradicate hunger and malnutrition. Well-nourished people are the bedrock of prosperous families, peaceful societies, and economic development. The fact that progress on hunger and malnutrition is stalling shows that business as usual is no longer an option. We all need to make some radical changes to get our movement towards a zero hunger world back on track. It is urgent that we refocus our resources and efforts on policies, actions, and innovative solutions that are proven to work and that produce lasting impact and we need to accelerate the pace at which we take our actions at scale. This is the purpose of this event. Share our knowledge about what works and discuss what we need to do differently to speed up the pace of implementation. Hunger and malnutrition are complex problems. No organization can solve them alone. We therefore need to strengthen our partnerships to accelerate impact. Across sectors and policy domains, but also beyond the public sector. The private sector, in particular family farmers and agribusinesses are crucial. Our role is to work with them to ensure that our food system leaves no one behind, deprived of the food they need for a healthy and productive life. In the past few decades, diary patterns worldwide have shifted. While increases in income in certain parts of the world have contributed to an increased intake of nutritious foods, such as fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, there has also been a parallel and fast increase in the consumption of highly processed foods, high in fats, sugars, and salt. 
Our food systems are making less nutritious food more available, affordable and desirable to the detriment of more nutritious food. In other words, the food environment that surrounds people today makes it more difficult to adopt a healthy, affordable diet with equitable and inclusive access to all. In recent years, we increasingly recognize that our food systems are about much more than the production and provision of food, and that as the food system interacts with other important systems such as health and energy. Food systems are universal. Everyone must eat, and so they connect people everywhere in complex economic, social, and environmental ways. Food systems are connected with many of the most vital, viable, vital issues of our day, extreme poverty, hunger and malnutrition, health, empowerment of women, climate change, water scarcity, land and soil degradation, loss of biodiversity, inequality, and even violent conflict. The goal of sustainable food systems should make all humans partners and responsible stewards of a planet-wide reproductive ecology essential to life itself. The time needed for the market alone to transition us towards healthy, healthier diets through shifts in consumer demand or industry self-regulation is too long and riddled with difficult trade-offs. If we truly wish to accelerate the end of malnutrition and hunger, greater political will and action must come from governments working with private sector, civil society organizations to promote greater social equality and foster a food environment that helps people choose the proper diets. Robust analysis of the effectiveness and impacts of various policy options should underpin our actions and programs as international organizations dealing with agriculture and food systems for food security and better nutrition. Food safety and the impact of food si on, of, on food systems of animal and human health are also matters of serious concern. Worldwide, one in 10 people falls ill and 420,000 people die every year after consuming contaminated food with children under five years old accounting for almost one third of mortality. The burden is particularly heavy in the same regions affected by extreme poverty and hunger. Overuse or misuse of pesticides and other chemicals in crop and feed production, inappropriate use of veterinary drugs such as antibiotics, massive concentration of farm operations and growing trade in both plant and animal-based food and feed results in longer food feed chains associated with increased risk to human and animal health from food systems. This risk include the emergence and diffusion of antimicrobial resistance and rabbit international spread or foodborne disease outbreaks. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, for decades, public and private investment in agri-food production and distribution systems have successfully prioritized food cost reductions, thereby increasing food availability and, by lowering prices, improving food access. Food systems have resulted in millions of people lifted from hunger and in the prevention of widespread famines. We should recognize this. But this important achievement has been realized in part by ignoring important aspects of food system sustainability, including preservation of biodiversity and other vital services provided by land, water, and marine ecosystems. It has been known for a long time that food systems take many sectors and disciplines to achieve multiple outcomes that can be beneficial for humans and the planet. However, what is new is about how the world can deliver on the 17 SDGs through shared action. It is not just about what other sectors can do for those working in food and agriculture to deliver their goals, but what those working in the food space can do for them in delivering their goals. Looking closely at what the main architects of the SDGs intended, the common thread is a universal agenda for all in every country. This agenda brings enormous practical implications and challenges for what we do and how we do it to ensure a successful path towards sustainable development for everyone. We strongly believe, more importantly, 
that the solutions are within our reach. Thank you very much. Thank you.